Hello everybody and welcome back to my career playthrough in Coral Space Program where I give you unedited footage of me trying to accomplish a career in Kerbal Space Program for the first time ever in my life as a KSP player. Okay, since we got a lot of cash from our space tourists from the previous mission, we're going to upgrade stuff. First I'm going to upgrade the administration building and then I'm going to upgrade my research and development lab because then I can get more science and then I can get more stuff to buy with the science. Okay, we don't have 1.7 million funds, so this is out of the question. We do have quite some significant uh, other amount of funds, but I'm not keen on spending it right away. Okay, I don't need unlimited Kerbals, 12 active is okay so far. But let's see if we can change something. The fundraising campaign, I really like to have money. So, what do we do? Let's take our reputation. Yes, I want to cancel that and then I want to do it again because we can change our commitment once we have a gauge in the campaign. And I want to give, well, half of my reputa reputation gains towards my cash inflow. Income, influx, let's call it an influx. Okay, let's do this, and then what else can we get? 5% reputation gain, and then we get some more science for reputation. Well, that's, that's nice. Science for income, no, I don't want that. Huh, cash for reputation, not needed. Don't need reputation, nope. Aggressive negotiations, that sounds nice. Uh, no, that's okay. Huh, okay. Let's try this. Let's get some more research because I really need that science because I really need to... Uh, well, if we take 50% reputation gains and then take 50% reputation gains, then I probably won't gain reputation. But on the other hand, does the 50% first get calculated from the other 50%? From, from the leftover 50% or from the total before the campaign gets subtracted? So, uh, yeah, this is unclear to me now. I'm confused. Anyhow, okay. Uh, let's try 30% over here. And let's also maybe reduce this to 30%. Maybe 50% is a bit too, too aggressive. Okay, for each unit of reputation we'll get 1,000 funds. Well, let's... Cannot activate this... What? Okay. Why was I able to get... Yes. Yes. Why was I not able to do this before? Hmm. Weird. I lost a lot of reputation now, by the way. Um, not sure what that means. But yeah, sorry for that confusion up there. I really don't like doing these things. Anyhow, um, I already tried to build this uh, previously. Um, this is the one I want to use to explore the moon. Yes, we are going to the moon. I am determined to do this, to put a Kerbal at least in orbit around it, or three Kerbals in this case. Yes, we're going to upgrade our Kerbals. Okay, but in order to do that, we also need a big rocket to get us there. Or at least maybe a bit more expensive rocket than uh, what we had so far. So, how should we proceed? Well, what's our most efficient... Let's use the swivel engine. Because you can't go wrong with the swivel engine, can you? A 1500... Uh, well, I don't think that's enough for what we want to achieve. I think we're going to need more. 
there we go. This could, but we still need, but we still need a booster to get us uh, higher. First, we need to get out of the atmosphere. Then we need to do our transfer burn to the moon, or injection burn rather, and then uh, do all the rest. Okay. Looking, this is going to shape up nicely. I think. I hope so, at least. Uh, nope, not like this. Okay, we have 4,000, 5,000 meters per second of delta V. We're probably not going to orbit the moon. We're going to just do a flyby and we're, we're hoping to get a free return trajectory. Meaning that uh, we don't really have to uh, do a lot to uh, get back and have an encounter with Kerbin. So, yeah, maybe this is overkill. Re almost three uh, th thrust to weight ratio of three at start. Nope, I don't want this. 68, why not? 68, come on. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's try and do that. We also want our little uh, aerodynamic caps and we want this and I also want two parachutes. I think two is going to be enough for this to get down safely. There you go. Put those on top. And <laughs> it looks a bit weird, but maybe it works. Let's see. 5,000 meters per second, almost. Well, we can get, we, we will get probably a moon encounter. Let's call it the Moon 1. And let's see what happens. Uh, no, let's don't see what happens because we want some people in there. I want Valentina and I want Bill and I want Bob because those two uh, don't have any experience yet and I really want them to do something about that. All right, let's head to the launch pad. Okay, in order for this to really work well, I want to have the moon... Oh, it's quite in a good position, so I really don't need to perform that much uh, time warp. Okay, this, this should be enough for us to, to get to the moon safely. There you go, set as target. Um, the easiest way to get to the moon is wait for it to uh, come over the horizon and then just blast prograde. And this was a very abridged version. Okay, I will want to use my... Where is the science? Here and now. There we go. We can, we're going to make some observations, but we don't... Yes, we want some alerts. And we want to do these as soon as we're out of the atmosphere, because I don't want to perform the experiments yet. Three, two, one, launch! Okay, a bit of a gravity turn already. Nothing major. Let's really hope we don't get any rapid, unplanned disassembly. We wouldn't want to lose uh, our main Kerbal astronauts yet. On the other hand, I'm playing with Revert, so yeah. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's hope. On the other hand, I really don't want to... I don't want... I don't like the feeling of having uh, harm to come uh, to my... Uh, Characters that I'm playing, well, I'm not really playing them, but I'm kind of trying to take care of them in this case. Okay, we're very high up now. And... come on, come on, come on. Okay. Go! Now we need to flatten out. And that's too much, that's too much, that's too much. Whoa, 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 whoa. We flattened out too much. Almost tipped the rocket. 
Maybe I should have put some fins on there as well, but well, on the other hand, not really because we're already so far up in the atmosphere that it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm now burning really flat, almost burning towards uh, the planet. And I want to raise my Apple apps so I can reach the moon. This is basically just me firing away. So what we're doing here is cons uh, conserving all our energy. We would uh, otherwise need to perform an orbit uh, because we don't want that. And then we're going to just blast forward until we reach the moon. Okay, let's maybe try to do this in a professional manner with maneuver nodes. Okay, hello moon. And... Well, this is going to be a high encounter over the moon. Maybe we want a lower encounter. Oops, nope. Come on. Dealing with these maneuver nodes is sometimes really annoying. Okay, let's really have a low encounter. There we go. Okay, then we're going to get thrown out of the solar system. Well, not the solar system. Uh, verbal sphere of influence. Verbal sphere of influence. What am I talking here? Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to have the free return trajectory this time. But... Huh, maybe we have another encounter with the moon. Oh, come on. Oh, and I need to perform my burn because otherwise I get burned. I don't want to get burned. Oh, yeah. Terrible space program. Always keeping you on your toes. Okay, we have way enough thrust. And now we're blasting forward, separating that stage, there we go. What am I doing here? Okay, forward, 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 forward. We don't have a lot of Delta V left, so let's make the best of it. Okay. This is a low encounter. Yes, that's good. Okay. The science here and now mod tells me a lot of useful things, meaning that I have now uh, got some new science I could grab, but I'm not going to do that because we already have a lot of science of flying over Kerbin near Kerbin. Yes, Kerbin's water. Let's leave it at that. I want to ha be an Space, uh, high space above Kerbin, which is, I think, 200,000, or was it 250,000? Let's try 250. Yes, there we go. Now we can have a lot of new information. This, 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 and this. Okay, we have the mystery goo. We're going to keep this. We have the crew report, we have a temperature scan, which is nice, and an atmospheric scan, and the material study, and your material study. Uh, okay, mystery goo has been observed, and I want, oh, where's my scientist? There's my scientist. To EVA, which he can't, because the hatch is still occupied by Valentina, who should also, uh, Get some science. Gather some science. There we go. Let's uh, switch Bill, uh, Bob, of course, to that thing. Come on, get out. Okay, this is a bit stupid because I need Bob to perform. Uh, data collection, there we go, and then restore it, 
and then collect it and then restore it again and then get the hell out of dodge or get the hell back in there you go okay and now i have to switch to valentina <laughs> this is a bit yeah okay whoa before i can uh, use valentina of course i have to transfer bob back to the crew capsule uh, i really should have used something with two crew hatches or at least have a probe core installed that uh, thing can fly okay to take this data and we're going to take this data and we're going to take our crew report yes and then we have all science saved in our crew capsule. Oh, that was a bit weird, but yeah, we managed to do it anyway. Okay, uh, we're going to have a Mooner encounter in one day and two hours. We have new information. Okay, we have new science. Maybe we can get that as well. Tina, get out there, uh, Bob, transfer to the crew thing, uh, and Bob go on EVA. No, hatch is obstructed because Valentina is still hanging or hanging around. I should have put some something to grab for her or something like, um, ah, but I can't switch vessels uh, when a Kerbal is attached to something, can I? Ah, uh, this is... This is really a bit different from what I expected it was going to be, but yeah, ain't that grand. Okay, some more collection and restoration, and then you're going to get back in. Come on, in there, get in there. What? I can't, because I already have it. What's going on? Okay, Valentina. You're going to get in there as well. Oh, look at that. That was a nice picture. Hey, hi there. Hi there, Moon. We're gonna get ya. We're gonna get ya. Okay. We're gonna get to ya. We don't going to get you in the sense that we're going to put you in our pocket and then drive away with you but yeah um, this is now sort of spin, spin, uh, spin stabilized sometimes I really have problems with words with uh, very similar syllables like the month February 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 I really have problems saying it I don't know why it's just weird Anyhow, Kerbal Alarm Clock. This is now the mod I want because I want to add a new uh, alarm when we change our sphere of influence, which is going to be necessary. Alright, why is this necessary, you may ask? First of all, I'm going to quick save, and then we're going to go back to the Space Center because in one day's time we can, well, we can actually do a lot of stuff. So what we're going to do now is see if we can get another contract. Okay. <laughs> Conduct observational surveys of Kerbin near Bob's butt. I'm going to let that stand right there. And <laughs> let's just take it. Okay, a uh, focused uh, temperature scan, something above. We have some more tourists, yay, we're going to take that. Some other tourists, yay, we're going to take that as well. Focus temperature survey of the moon. Base flight below 7,900 meters. Well, we're going to save that later. Escape trajectory out of Kerbin. No, we're not going to do this at the moment. But we have Bob's butt. <laughs> and we are going to do some short tourist contracts while uh, our intrepid crew is on its way towards the moon. 
Okay, we have what are we what do we have here? We have an orbit around Kerbin, we have suborbital space flight. So yeah. Same here. One, two, three, four, and three makes seven. So we need a seventh crew ship. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's do that. But first. Okay, we don't need the moon rocket again, because it's already on its way and we don't want to send this again. I want some more curves, just in case, because uh, you can stupidity mega courage almost none. Let's take the other way around. I don't want stupid curves. Stupid engineers. Oof. Nope, let's take smart engineers. And let's take scientists. Why are all available scientists stupid? Hmm. Okay, do we have another engineer? Courageous and stupid, okay. Oh well. Let's try to do this. We have uh, one pilot. And we have another two, second pilot, two engineers, one scientist. Let's take another scientist on board. Uh, just one available. They, what? Not enough funds! Ooh, okay, this is expensive. I forgot. Yeah, and I can now only build something that is 13,644 funds. Cheap. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be a cheap tourist mission then. All right. I want a crew capsule this time because I want to put in one of my new pilots and I'm going to give this some sh parachutes. There we go. Stack them this way because I want the drogue chutes to fire first. Okay, we have our crew cabin. So we have uh, one, two, no, let's, let's do it like we did before with the weird spaceship where we, uh, landed in the ocean and, uh, stuff exploded, if you remember. Mm, let's go over here, one, two, three, something, six, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, no, that's not enough, we want this time eight. Okay, we're going to uh, be able to upgrade some of our kerbals. And how heavy is this? 11 tons. Well, it could be lighter, but it isn't. Let's take another swivel with us. Hi, swivel. You got a lot of delta V, which is good. Well, not you, the engine, but uh, the rocket itself. And yeah, we can't get any lower. Maybe we can raise this a bit. Uh, raise this a bit. Why is this engine so far down? Okay. Uh, now let's really make a very quick vehicle here. Okay. I'm going to use solid rocket boosters because they are cheap as the proverbial copulation. Uh, if you know what I mean. Okay, this is going to give us 700 meters per second, which is good, but we want more. There we go. Do we need two or three? Let's see how many we're going to use. Okay, atmospheric flight, one, three. Uh, this could be, oh, I'm almost at my funds limit, which is not nice. <laughs> this is two funds below my current limit of funds. Hmm. Can I risk this? Can I risk this? Well, we're going to get our money once we uh, uh, once we get the flyby from the moon. I'm confident we're going to get the flyby from the moon. Really need to get that flyby from the moon. Okay, uh, enough about that. Let's put our tourists in there. And we then can take another Kerbal. Let's take a pilot. 
Ilo Kerman. Okay. Let's call this. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Eight ball, because we have eight tourists on board. Well, we have eight passengers on board. We should have enough Delta V to perform what we want to perform. But I'm a bit worried about my... Um, about controlling it. So maybe if I add a few winglets on it... Three-way symmetry is a bit of a hassle, but it's better than nothing. And now we're over the limit. Hmm. I don't like this. So what should we do? What should we do? Is it possible to do this with only two of you? Two boosters. 3,400. It should be enough, but I really need to be able to control this. So, there we go. And <laughs> I'm already way above it. Okay. I'm not going to save you. I'm going to reload you where you did not have the fins. Maybe this works. Maybe this works. I really hope this is going to work, even without the fins. Let's hope that uh, my pilot... Who's piloting this? Jebediah. Okay. Let's hope that Jebediah is able, since he already has one star, uh, is able to pull this off. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm really going to need to quick save this, because this might explode. Okay, we're not going to use any science stuff at the moment. Okay, let's hope for the best. We're rising up quickly. Oh, I didn't put any. Uh, I didn't put any parachutes on the the booster stages so that they could be recovered. So. Yeah, this is lost money, basically. Oh, we already have some prograde and retrograde SES options, since Jebediah has uh, upgraded himself, or was upgraded, thanks to his valiant efforts serving Kerbal Kind as a test pilot. Okay, firing once again. Well, they've already exploded. Okay, we're now entering Bob's butt. And <laughs> we're now leaving Bob's butt. Uh, yeah. Not sure if these jokes are intended, but... Yes, they are funny. Okay. We're flying very high now. Why did I have... Oh, did I have Kerbal Engineer available in the previous flight because I had an engineer on board? Was that it? Could be. I'm really a noob at this career thing. Okay. Whoa! I have no idea what just happened. I think I... I let's, let's look at that. Ah, okay. I exploded my stack decoupler, so... The decoupler could not bear the load of uh, what I presented it with. So, yeah, that happened. And I'm not sure that we're going to reach orbit. We're really steep and we're not uh, far along yet. Oh, how is this going to work out? Nah, that's probably not going to work. Ah. I mean, hmm. we're above 70 kilometers, so we have that suborbital space flight part down. But, whoops, that's way too much. I'm pretty sure we don't have 300 meters per second of delta V left. 
I am pretty confident that that is not the case. I will try anyways. So, yeah. We're going to... We're closing in on our maneuver node. And now we're going to fire these engines. Well, engines, plural. Stupid me, it's just one engine. And it really is not enough to do anything! Come on! Come on, so close! God, that was not nice. Okay. Maybe, maybe if I put this thing, okay, this is now really, really Kerbal thinking. And th this costs 200, so it's too expensive. What else costs 200? So we have this and we have these. The radial parachutes cost 300, yeah, the drogue chutes. But I do think I might need them. So what could I do? Could I maybe... So we still have all of the, uh, the the boys and girls on board. On board. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure that this is going to work, but let's try anyways. This is going to be a long episode, I'm sorry about that. We're already 30 minutes in, and we still didn't have any... Uh... Where are you going? That's the wrong way! Okay. Why did it tilt in that direction? Because... I put it in this direction, then it tilted back. Okay, this is probably not a good idea! Okay... And maybe I should be content with using only two of those. So I am cheaper. I can have that control thing. Then I also probably don't need it. Then I'm going to have to do two launches. So we, we're, we're not going to do that. Uh, all seven tourists in one launch thing. I'm sorry. I had your hopes. I had your hopes up there, didn't I? Okay. This should be safe and sound. Also, this for uh, reasons of uh, what you want to call it stability. No, yeah, aerodynamic stability, namely. And we're already above our quota. Ah, come on. Okay, let's keep it simple. Really simple and use this thing here. Okay. Because what I want to do now is already give it a bit of a push in the right direction, so to speak. And then we have four tourists. So, which ones should I take? Which is the contract for the four tourists? Rosby! Hi, Rosby! Bartzer! Grayley! And Fobri! Well, I'm pretty sure these are random randomly generated uh, Kerbal names, but they s are still weird. So, yeah. Let's try this again. One more time. Just one more time. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. And we're firing! There we go. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. No, no, no. What? <sighs> Physical time warp is the bane of my existence because I would love to use it but it is impossible to use it properly because once you engage it everything goes weird and this gets on my nerves so many times because I expect something to behave a certain way and then it doesn't and that infuriates me 
Okay, we have to... Apparently we have to correct a lot for uh, our trajectory, which uh, you can see according to these uh, grid fins here. Well, they're not grid fins. Why do I say grid fins? I'm so SpaceX indoctrinated. And we're already entering Bob's butt again. Dear Bob, I'm sorry for entering your butt so many times. And stage separation. Well, so much for the stages. Okay. This should be now a bit safer. And I'm pretty sure we're doing a better trajectory than previously. And I'm pretty sure we have way more delta V than previously. I didn't look at the numbers. <laughs> Funny thing. Uh, maybe I should look at them uh, in uh, post-processing. But, uh, yeah. Since I, since I don't have... Well, I have two tanks less, but I also have these uh, crew containers uh, that I don't have to all around. Whoa, why did I engage the parachutes? That was stupid! Can I disarm? Ooh, I can disarm them. Whew! That was a close call, probably. Okay, where are we? There are we. And now I'm firing again. Okay, we're heating up now. We have almost half of our fuel left. This looks... This is shaping up to be a lot better than the previous attempt. I'm pretty sure we're going to manage to reach orbit this time. And now I am confident enough to engage physical time warp. Whoa, why I... Ah, why did I do that? What did I do that for? Okay. Get this down to... Just 70. Just 70. And let's... Wait until we have right uh, altitude so we can engage our uh, time warp. There we go. We want to warp to our next maneuver. Ah, yeah, th this is something... Hmm, when you have physical time warp engaged and you want to warp to the next maneuver node, uh, it warps in physical time mode. I understand why, but I would like to have the option that when I engage the warp to next maneuver node uh, thing, that uh, <laughs> I would like to then uh, have it such a way that it engages the regular time warp. So, how do we look? I think we're looking good. We have our orbit. And now we're going to get rid of our orbit. So, you dear tourists, you had your fun, time to get home. Okay, see how that is going. Don't have a lot of uh, fuel left, but let's see if we manage to get safely down to the ground and maybe use our engine to uh, regulate our descent as well. Okay, a lot of mistakes this time and that's why the episode went a bit longer than I expected and yeah. I'm thinking about maybe cutting it in the middle if you're watching this and this is already the second part. Hi! And thank you. Okay. So, this here is now in the upper atmosphere. And we still have one day left, so we can perform the other tourist contract as well. So, we're now flying towards the ground. I'm going to put this a bit squarely, so we. Uh, a bit more squarely, so we have more uh, resist air resistance. 
meaning also we have a lot more um, braking power, so to speak. Okay. How's our electricity going? It's okay. Why didn't I get rid of the monopropellant? It would have saved me a few extra kilograms, which might not make a lot of difference, but sometimes a little difference is all the difference. Okay, 40 kilometers, 30, and we're heating up really hot now. We're heating up really hot now. That that was very uh, bad English or bad a bad sentence in any language. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, engine is getting hot, but we're now closing in on the temperature where I say, okay, this is manageable. Come on, slow down. Yes, we have our parachutes. They have deployed. Let's deploy the other one. Okay, the thing I did not realize is that this is not going to stable once it touches down. Hmm. Let's see how fast we're going as soon as the parachute opens, which is happening now. Okay. 13 meters per second. This is a bit quick, but we still have some fuel left, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have a safe landing because I'm going to use the engine to slow us down a bit. Okay, that worked like a charm. <laughs> there we go! This was... Phew. Why are you hot, Jebediah? You were inside the safe capsule. And now we're going to take a surface sample, so we have some science as well. And we are in the highlands! Oh, well, that's nice. We didn't have any report from the highlands yet, so let's take that as well. And let's recover it. And we hopefully have enough money now to do something. Okay, science data, recovery, and we have 140 fun, 140,000 funds, sorry. And yeah, that's of course a lot better than the 13,000 we had. Okay, so we're going to pick that up in the next episode when we once again enter the Shadow Zone. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.